Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. No distress calls, no signs of resistance, new technology, marvelously advanced. But what? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Hill here with Commander Shepard, Miranda Lawson, and Jacob Taylor. Almost forgot his last name. All right, we have been making our way through the slums. And we are here to turn the environmental controls back on and initiate a cure to the plague that Morden Solus has devised. Let's go. You don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. You're dead. Sounds like an appropriate response. I've had enough of this. <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for Doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Hostile. All right. Have a nice trip. Nice. One left. There you go. Thank gotcha. you, Miranda. Well, that's what we're going to do. Thank you, Evie. Power startup. Insert cure now. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Okay. <coughs> Look, we've got some trouble. <coughs> Jacob. got them that easily. I really must have gotten much better at playing video games over the years. This is really easy to me. I think I might have to increase the difficulty again. We'll see. All right, Miranda. Overload. Thank you. Got the right one, Miranda. Overload. One left. Nice. <laughs> Jacob. Pull. <laughs> Got him. You know, I remember this being a lot harder. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and initialize the East. Man, hooray. One down, one to go. There we Let's go. Move. Oh look, med a medical <clears throat> station. Oh, who's here now? Night night. <clears throat> Oh. Gravity's one of these, brother, huh? Isn't it? 
especially when combined with war. Alright, we have an armored enemy, pack trooper, Miranda, you're up. Jacob, pull. Okay, pull. Okay. Incinerate them then. This one's mine. I think we can move on. Whoa, whoa! Oh, this guy's stuck in the wall. All right, Miranda, we'll double warp. All right, we've got a Krogan incoming. Jacob, help her. Pull. Got him. Miranda's down. All right, let me help her. Activating unity. All right, she's back. Okay, come on guys, let's go. This isn't over yet. We need to activate the other array. What? Jacob? Double warp him. All right. Pull. He's down. Miranda. Overload. Enemy down. Thank you. All right. We still got this person up here. Pull, Jacob. There. He's gone. All right, come on, let's move. Uh-oh, somebody's right here. Miranda? Overload. Thank you. Jacob, pull. Oh, how did he get away from that? All right, singularity then. Is that everyone? All right, here's the West Fan Array. Initialization Both fans are up. in progress. All right, we've done it. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. Professor, how can you thank these monsters? They butchered those Batarians in cold blood. Um, you know Shepard does not appreciate that sort of talk. 
I risked my life to save you. Hell, I saved this whole damn district. Now you're judging me? Shepard's right. Batarians tortured you, would have killed you. Right to kill them. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. See, I knew Morden would be in favor. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic Shepherd should killing. be able to handle it now that Forge are gone. I honored my part of the bargain, Professor. Now you need to do the same. Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. All right. We could stay, but I did thoroughly loot the area, so it's okay for us to leave. But make sure, uh, if you're playing this, that you have gone around in Morden's lab and next door to collect all the different loot. So we're going to go ahead and leave. And this will conclude this episode, or this, not this episode, well, yes, we're about to conclude the episode, but this will conclude this mission. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. There we go. So we've leveled up, we've gained two more experience points, so I think we have four that we can use now. All right, so we've recruited Dr. Morton Solis. We've gotten the Carnifex hand cannon. We've increased, or I guess we will, we can increase now, assault rifle damage. Not that I have an assault rifle, so who's using one? Nobody's using one. We have increased our metagel capacity by one. We have found 1,000 element zero, 2,000 palladium, 2,000 platinum, 2,000 iridium, and that's it. Let's go. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. Hmm. You know the elusive man? You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Okay, we know that he's currently Shepard, anti-Cerberus. So, we're going to go with human colonies are vanishing. The Collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out. No signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. No distress calls. No signs of resistance. New technology. Marvelously advanced. But what? Yeah, you see, I did not go for that Paragon prompt. Okay, so... You think this is fascinating? This isn't a game. We've lost thousands of people. God only knows what the Collectors are doing to them. Easy, Commander. Dr. Solis is a problem solver. This is how he thinks things through. We collected evidence from one of the missing colonies, Professor. We need you to analyze it and see if you can figure this out. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask, is that an AI? <laughs> oh, gosh, Morden. He's just special. He really is. This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology, need samples. 
Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. All right. Oh, how did I get the Paragon? All right, there's our... Oh, we got heavy weapon ammo, too. Okay, what else? Meta gel capacity. We've seen all these things. Uh, okay, all right. Let's... I think we're good on time for the moment. Let's go into the lab and see how Morden is doing. See, it's unlocked now. And this will give us access to all sorts of upgrades. And I'm, I'm eager to uh, look at some of these. Actually, let's do it now. Is this the... Alright, so the weapon upgrade... Yeah, we don't really need assault rifle damage at this time because no one's using an assault rifle. So for armor upgrades, I'll go ahead with the Metagel capacity. Even though we really haven't used much Metagel either. Okay. Thank you. And what is this for prototypes? Heavy weapon ammo. Let's go ahead and increase our capacity. And what else? The avalanche. Oh, this is a cryo gun. Yeah. We're going to go ahead with our Black Star for now. We're just going to use that, though I haven't really had a chance to. Okay, well, oh, okay, let's look at these upgrades. So the hack module, did that, okay, that has already been installed, so yeah. All right, heavy skin already installed too. Okay. Okay, all right. Oh, this is just showing me what has been upgraded. All right. All right, well, there there we have it. Let's go talk to Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. All right, let's talk about upgrades. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Huh. All right, I don't think we've got anything new. Oh, Morden Omni Tool. Morden gets 20% tech power damage. Okay, uh... Ooh, 3,000 element zero. I don't know if I'm really going to be taking him on a mission, though. Not anytime soon. We'll come back to that later. Let me know if upgrades seem feasible. Can install them whenever you like. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the lab setup. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Let's talk about Morden. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. So, has he heard from his assistant? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Let's ask about the special tasks group. Tell me more about the Solarian special task group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar. Given goal, 
told to accomplish. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Okay, let's find out more about work in limited facilities. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. The plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. And I just have to say, this is what made Mass Effect so great. Morden Solus, what a character. I mean, there's so much depth to this, this person. And this is what we loved about Mass Effect. The characters. Bioware, if you ever get back to Mass Effect or whatever your next game is, look at this. Don't forget where you came from. We already asked about special tasks, but it looks like we have to ask again. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under a young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, Kirihi, took water, people. tissue samples from Krogan colonies. We tried to save him in, in the first Mass Effect, and for some reason that failed. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Okay. Well, we've got other stuff here. Let's talk about the genophage. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Hmm. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. And let's ask about the reason for studies. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If Genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan Rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. All right, I think we have exhausted our dialogue options with Morden. It's time to go. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. And what is this? Uh, what is this? I'm still, I'm still not used to this Normandy. I'm used to the old one. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. Let's see who this is from. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. Healing your facial scars. From Chief Medical Officer Chakwas. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions within your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment to research to your research terminal in the tech lab. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Oh, and this is, uh, I guess, from the crash site that we visited earlier from Command... Not Commander. Admiral Hackett. 
The Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we've sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. All right, that's it. Okay. So we have Morden's Omni Tool and we have the Facial Fix for Shepard. Let's go ahead and apply it. I really don't like looking at those scars. Okay. I guess this is gonna be a prototype or not. It's a ship enhancement? Okay. Wow, look at how the number of platinum required. This is going to be pretty exhaustive. But i I got to go for it. Okay, so we will need to go and visit Dr. Chakwas to actually get his face fixed. And yes, we're getting... Uh, bonus uh, footage here. Bonus footage, but I did want to um, have this face repaired. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. Alright, we are healing the scars. Yes. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And now the bi biotic blue eyes shine more brightly. What is this over here? Oh, it's Edie. Okay. Okay, well folks, that will do it for this episode and we will continue probably on Omega, I think. We will continue on Omega because we do have Archangel to find. But this is Hill. And I'm out.